Let's see if they come right out again, Chris. I've seen Kelsey uh, in some sparring exhibitions, and she has some great kicks. So let's see if she can. Right there, right a kick to the stomach, a knee to the stomach. Kelsey trying to work the legs now in the corner. She's definitely using that push kick to try to keep Stewart away. Stewart trying to work inside, trying to get the kick up to the stomach, but Kelsey responds. A nice, nice kick, kick there. Nice attempt. Amy tried to kick off with a clinch, just barely missed. Well, Stewart has that reach, a big reach advantage, so Kelsey has to use her legs to try and keep Stewart away. Amy is definitely landing some really good push kicks to the midsection, which can wear down your opponent, knocking the wind out of your opponent by throwing teeps or push kicks to the body. Trying to jab, trying to get some jabs in there, but really trying to set up the kick. A kick, the double shin kick there, they both blocked it. Nice push kick again from Amy. Nice round kick from Amy. And then Stewart responded with one of her own. You have to be alert at all times in this sport. Oh, yes. The second. Oh, the, the Stewart hit Kelsey right in the face with a cross. Amy's definitely utilizing that lead leg push kick to try to keep to keep uh, Stewart off of her or and keep her range. And Stewart is southpaw. A battle of southpaws. Is that a knockdown? Looked like a slip, CJ. But well, yes, well, good exchange. Vin All right, you're watching a terrific Muay Thai action right here on Friday Night Fights. We'll be back with much more coming up after this. All right, we're back here at the Broad Street Ballroom, Mr. Classic. Chris Romulo sitting right next to me. CJ Papa, Nancy Ward is talking to the fighters after the bounce. We're watching a junior welterweight three round, two minutes each. Round one is done. Amy Kelsey in the pink, Devin Stewart in the aqua. Round number two is underway. They came out just like they did in the first round. So I think a little more aggressive here. Yeah, these girls are definitely in good shape considering the action in that first round. Amy still landing push kicks to the body, which Stewart is great. With a, with a nice cross there. They're exchanging knees in the middle of the ring. Amy getting pushed back to the ropes by Stewart. And Stewart has to use a reach advantage here as they, they fix the headgear. As Vinny Chapel steps in, fix the headgear, talks to Kelsey, and wants to go to the neutral corner. And now they can fight again. Kelsey looks a little bit stunned there. Took a couple of punches right to the face. Right there, another one. She, really just getting, she's not, really Kelsey is able to, not able to block the punches right to her head. Stewart's been able to deliver it, even though Kelsey's trying to fight back using her legs. She's doing a great job when she does use her kick, CJ, but she's definitely taking a lot of punches. <clears throat> Stewart's definitely pushing Amy back with her, uh, her flurries of straight punches down the middle. And Stewart with the longer reach, a big advantage in this fight. Let's see if she can take advantage of it again and keep Kelsey away by not letting Kelsey, a nice round kick there to the thigh by Stewart on Kelsey. These push kicks that uh, Amy, you know, is landing on Stewart can take its toll in the next round because every push kick that Stewart takes to the body can knock the wind out of her. Oh, and Kelsey slipped there, fell on the ring, smiling, got up right away. She's definitely lost her balance. Luckily, the ropes were there. A left and a right to the face by Stewart. Now working the body, Kelsey trying to kick back. A knee to the stomach by Stewart on Kelsey. Nice knees, that was a nice exchange or a nice uh, flurry of knees by Devon, uh, Devon Stewart at the end of that round. Let's see if Amy will come out. 
very aggressive here and put Stewart on the defensive to try and score points to make up for what I think is a point differential here that Kelsey has to make up in this final two minutes, round number three. If Amy can score a knockdown in this round, this might give her a chance. Nice round out, the round kick by Kelsey there. Now they're exchanging knees in the corner. Stewart still pushing Amy back, being the aggressor. This one could, this one could come to an end here if she gets a couple more punches. Stewart on Kelsey. Got to keep those arms up. Can't let those punches come through. Stewart, Kelsey landing one of Stewart. Right there. Kelsey's head went back and back again. Stewart is landing some heavy right hands right now on Amy and pushing her back. Definitely in control of this fight. One thing that uh, newer fighters sometimes forget about is control of the ring. If you can control the pace and the tempo and where your fighter is or your opponent is going, that leaves an impre another impression on the judges. He's got her in the corner. Stewart has Kelsey, and Kelsey trying to get out. And now, Vinnie Chapel sending Stewart to a neutral corner, wants him to fight. We're in the waning seconds of round number three, the final round in this three round fight. Nice, nice kick to the face there. Nice high kick. Stewart thought she may have been going down there, and Kelsey thought she may have had the end of the fight right there with one kick. She took it like a champ, because she's still backing Amy up even after taking that head kick. It wasn't flush, but it was enough. It was enough to stun you. Oh, yeah. Stewart now just flurrying with knees in the clinch and punches. Final seconds of the fight. They're still going at it. Oh, oh. another kick to the face. Kelsey delivered on Stewart. Two at the end there. Will that be enough to rescue what I think is possibly a losing effort for Kelsey, but you have to hand it to Amy Kelsey not giving up in this fight. She definitely, uh, she definitely capitalized with that push kick to the face. I mean, I don't think it's enough, um, but it was a great ending to that fight. She definitely showed some big heart and firing back to the very end. Now we go to the scorecard. by unanimous decision, from Atlanta, Georgia, Devin Sewell. Well, we felt it early. It was a good, good call. Devon Sewell was definitely the, uh, the aggressive fighter, landing heavy shots with her uh, hands. And in the clinch, she uh, was definitely, you know, doing some damage with the knees in the clinch, straight knees and round knees.